Welcome to Food Core Storytime Friday. Today we're reading Magic Trash, a story of Tyree Guyton and his art, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. A winter chill whooshed down Heidelberg Street. Young Tyree Guyton buttoned his coat. Pop! His last button flipped into the gutter. He dove after it, then dug through frosty leaves. He pried a popsicle stick from the ice. He hoisted a bicycle wheel off the curb. He scooped up a baseball cap buried in the snow. Pockets clanking, Tyree darted home, a home on the east side of Detroit that already bulged with 10 children. Shop around, Tyree sang along with the radio as he unloaded the day's finds. His mama didn't earn enough money sewing and cleaning to buy new shoes, much less bikes and balls. So he zapped fun into amazing junk that others tossed away. Popsicle sticks became boards to build a house. The cap soared like a rocket ship. The wheel bounced, spokes jumping, dots danced. Let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance magic trash. Tyree barely heard the thump thwack of his brother's games while he dreamed up designs. In school, he sat alone, drawing pictures. Then one sunny day, when Tyree was nine, his grandpa Sam, a house painter, plopped a brush into his hands. Paint the world, grandpa said. Tyree dipped into grandpa's cans of color, sloshing purple, slapping yellow, aiming his brush like a magic wand. Abracadabra, Tyree's shyness vanished. Sweet apples crunched when he glopped the red. He'd never seen Lake Huron, but now it splashed in a pool of blue. Like new, Grandpa said of a glistening ladder. Tyree smiled and swirled a shade of green. Other kids on his street giggled and razzed. Look at his green face, ha, green junk. Still, as Tyree zoomed from bent bottle caps to rusty wheels, Grandpa Sam's words twirled in his head. I'm going to be an artist, Tyree said. He peered into Grandpa's twinkling eyes. Tyree clenched his brush. He would be an artist, yes. Brush greens and blues on wheels and shoes, slosh, slap, and splash, magic trash. At age 12, Tyree squinted into spiraling smoke as National Guard tanks rolled down nearby Mount Elliott Street. All his life, neighbors had raced out of town to live in new suburbs. Now, some who had stayed exploded in rage like shaken bottles of Werner's ginger ale. Tyree gawked, teeth chattering, as buildings burned in his neighborhood. When he grew to be 16, Tyree, too, left the shapes and hues of Heidelberg Street to seek a new life. He marched as a soldier, he inspected cars in a factory, he doused fires as a firefighter, but he never forgot about painting his world, so he enrolled in art school to learn more about colors, lines, and designs. At last, Tyree bolted back home to Heidelberg. When he returned, though, his street had changed. Houses sat deserted, creeping with spirits of owners who had run away from the neighborhood. Tyree tripped over trash, lots of trash, and troublemakers lurked. They snuck into hollow houses. They even set fire to one. Woo! Spirits whirl, new troubles swirl, kick, burn, and hurl magic trash. No, cried Tyree not on the street. His mama still lived in the same home. Grandpa Sam painted pictures inside now. Tyree grabbed his brush and burrowed through rubbish. He cast spells on suitcases, toilets, and a slide trombone. Before the colors dried, Grandpa Sam hurried out to help. They painted a busted bus. They tied shoes to trees, they flung broken bikes and cast off tires on burned out buildings and forgotten yards. And they painted faces of God in blue, black, and orange. Their street sparkled. When trouble still sizzled in one discarded home, Tyree coated it in dots and squares of pink, blue, yellow, and purple, then perched a magenta watchdog on the porch. Tyree named one home Dottie Waddy and another Funhouse. Some people squawked about garbage. A few neighbors complained to the city. The mayor and his helpers stomped. 
Soon bulldozers roared up to the project to crush every doll and board. You can't do that, yelled neighbors as dust swooped to the treetops. Get out of here, others screamed. Tyree's trash is beautiful. Tyree scrambled to snatch a few pieces. This is my art, he cried. But the dots and stripes and baby dolls lay bashed and smashed and still. Tyree rubbed his eyes. Grandpa Sam poked at piles. Old houses talk. Some neighbors squawk. Crash, bash, and smash magic trash. Art had filled Tyree's and Grandpa Sam's lives. Now, 93, Grandpa Sam had grown too old to help. Never stop painting, Grandpa said, squeezing Tyree's hand. And then Tyree stood alone with brushes, paint, and trash. He wasn't alone for long, though. We can help, neighbors called. Your colors and dots are beautiful. Together they shoveled, swept, and hauled in new trash. Then, after eight years of painting and rebuilding, neighbors heard wreckers screech a second time. Faces of God watched while the city crushed two more houses. No, Tyree yelled. Tyree and his neighbors were hopping mad. This street is ours, they said. We'll never quit. They marched downtown to tell their story to a judge and jury. The city argued that Heidelberg Street was a garbage dump. No, decided the court. It is art. Tyree's work survived. The next day, Tyree and his neighbors began anew, aiming their brushes like magic wands. Children sang as they hammered and spattered designs. Even former troublemakers returned, ready to take, sweep, and build. United by trash, they cast a spell on the street, brightening their home for good. Word of Heidelberg Street spread far. It blazed across the air. Folks from Canada, Kenya, and Japan scurried to the neighborhood. They stared. Wow, look at that. Tyree waved his brush. Welcome. In a warm breeze, dots danced, gleaming castoffs jangled and jumped. Let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance magic trash. Thank you for joining us for Food Core Storytime Friday. We'll see you next week.